This 11-story hotel is unlike anything Melbourne has ever seen. With an amazing rooftop bar and gathering space, incredible conference facilities, and of course, amazing guest rooms and suites like this one. So if you have friends and family coming to town for a visit, or want to go out and enjoy downtown Melbourne's great restaurants, bars, and shopping for a night or two, Hotel Melby is the place to be. Hello and welcome back to the 411 on the 321. Tales, tenets, and tips from Space Coast business leaders brought to you by the Melbourne Regional Chamber. I'm your host, Mel Thomas, and I'm excited as always to join you this morning from the gorgeous Hotel Melby, downtown Melbourne. With me today is a very special guest, Anthony Blunt. Anthony is the Vice President of Consumer Sales for Space Coast Credit Union. Yes. That is a mouthful. Yes. Yes. <laughs> well, thanks for joining us. We're gonna be right back with Anthony after a few words from our champion sponsor, Hedrick Brothers Construction Space Coast. Since 1979, Hedrick Brothers Construction has been delivering quality construction for the commercial and luxury residential markets of South Florida. In 2020, a team of two expanded into the Space Coast region and opened an office here in Melbourne. Three years later, the team's grown to over a dozen professionals, working on large, local projects and investing in our community. The sky's the limit for the Hedrick team. Get to know them. You'll be glad you did. Welcome back and welcome, Anthony. I'm so excited to have you here today. Thank you for having me. I'm excited to be here. Good. I, I can't wait to hear about all the great services you offer. And especially, I know we're going to dive into what you offer businesses. So yes. we'll just get right into it. Awesome. So I think of Space Coast Credit Union as like an institution here. I mean, it's practically a household name. Who doesn't know it, right? right. But just in case someone's watching, can you tell us a little bit about your history here in Brevard? Yes, certainly. Uh, Space Coast Credit Union started in 1951. Small credit union started out as uh, Patrick Air Force Base Credit Union. Okay, so I didn't know that. Right, okay. only seven members. Uh, so very small, oh just over $300 on deposits <laughs> then. Uh, and now we are around $8.6 billion in assets. We have just over 600,000 members. Our membership spans all the way from Palm Coast, Florida, all the way down to Homestead, Florida, oh with branches all the way up and down the east coast of Florida. And we have charters in 35 counties, uh, although we only do business and have branches in only seven. And I, I just love a hometown story and the growth and everything that goes along with that. Yes. Very cool. So can you tell me what kind of services do you provide your part, your members, right? Their members? Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, Space Coast Credit Union is just like any other financial institution. We offer your traditional checking, savings, mm -hmm. CDs, money market accounts, as well as your loans. Uh, and we also offer small business banking. We do mortgages okay. and, and that's been taken off a little bit more over the last couple of years. Uh -huh. We're excited about that, as well as the small business banking that's really taken off and we're excited about that. Okay. And we're going to talk about that. I'm curious though, Anthony, about your journey. So what brought you? to Space Coast Credit Union and tell us what, what do you do in your role as Vice President of Consumer Sales? Yes, so I actually came to Space Coast Credit Union as a branch manager. Did you? Uh, started out as a teller ah. at a college at Regions Bank and kind of worked my way up through the ranks there and came over in 2015 uh, to Space Coast Credit Union. Okay. Took over business services in 2016 uh, and we just completely revamped the entire department, restructured, uh, and I've been there over the last six years. And I took over all of consumer sales and business services in November of last year. So it's been an exciting journey. Okay, so it's still kind of a fairly new role. So I, our congratulations. Can I still do yes. that after only seven months? Absolutely. Okay, congratulations well, on the new role. The, yes. that, that's just the consumer side. The oh. business side has been humming for the last six years. Okay. And, and I'm really excited at all of the things that we've been able to do. When we started in 2015, it was only around 12,000 business owners that we were servicing. Okay. We service over 37,000 business owners now up and down the Space Coast. Wow. So I wonder for those of us that maybe just need you to define it a little bit, what set, sets a credit union apart from maybe a traditional bank? So I, I really love that question and I love to be able to share it because a lot Please. of folks really don't understand yeah, yeah. what a credit union is. So the, the biggest difference between a credit union and a bank is a bank is owned by shareholders and those shareholders may or may not have accounts at that institution. They're not really concerned with how user friendly or mm. how practical the account is. They only care about the profitability of the account. Well, right. at a credit union, our shareholders are our members. Mm. So the individuals that are using the accounts, they care about 
how the account works, yeah. how practical the account is, the benefits and the fees associated with it, because they're the shareholders. So everything that we do is to benefit and to give back to our owners, our members, which is a little different than the focus that a bank will have at, at driving profits for their shareholders. Right. I mean, they've, they've literally got skin in the game, and I'm sure they're not afraid to tell you, like, hey, this isn't working for me. Correct. And they <laughs> so, do. Yeah. And yeah. they do. And they love the, the, uh -huh. the Space Coast feel, the, the small town, you know, because although we are a larger credit union, we still have a credit union feel where we are local, we're connected to the community, and we plan to continue to do that. Yeah. So I think one of the things that um, also differentiates you, if you will, the business services, and you kind of teased on that a little bit, and I know it's been you know, a passion project and it's been in the works and great things. Can you walk us through that? What does that look like? What do you offer? Why is it important? Well, what what's really unique about our small business services is uh, our business advisor role. And that role okay. is unique to the industry because they don't just focus on commercial lending, uh, which is typically what a business bank right. will focus on yeah. is the loans. This role really is structured to help business owners grow and it's, mm. it's structured to really help develop the person so that they can be better at driving and, and really thriving in business. And that role does things including workshops and seminars. We actually are conducting one right now. We had one uh, on yesterday with helping business owners understand key points to get an approved for lending. Okay. Because one of the biggest struggles for business owners is access to capital yeah. and understanding what a financial institution is looking for for them to be able to get it. So. That has been awesome. We've uh, had workshops with over 600 business owners so far this year. Oh my gosh. Uh, and we continue, hope to continue to drive that. Can you maybe share like a little story or success maybe you've had recently? Awesome. Yeah, yeah. I, I love to talk about our business <laughs> owners. Um, so we, we have a car rental company mm -hmm. here local in Melbourne um, that was doing mostly just, you know, weekend rentals mm -hmm. and uh, insurance rentals uh, here locally. And uh, they wanted to grow the business, had a good business plan, but again, struggled with access to capital and wanted to expand. And so they had been banking with Space Coast and wanted us to help them grow. And it's, it's really awesome when you can help a business that, you know, historically have shown that they have a plan, they understand the industry, yeah. but the access to capital that they need is a little bit beyond mm. what they've been able to do historically. And so being able to come in and help a business grow like we were able to do with them, we helped them acquire a larger franchise, uh, actually helped them get moved into the uh, Melbourne airport. Uh, they're actually the largest largest and the only car rental uh, vendor there oh in the gosh. airport now. Uh, and that business has grown and flourished. And, and we just love to be able to be a part of helping businesses like that, that really care about what they do in the community Yeah, uh, and want to stay here and grow here. And, and we love to be able to be a part of that. And I, I love that you, you call your services like advisory services. So like you said, lending, capital, the things that you would probably traditionally equate with your financial institution. But the fact that you want them to grow and thrive here, whether it's financially, whether it's the location or marketing or a business plan, like that's a really holistic approach that yeah. I think that really sets you apart. Um, Bravo, like now I wanna, I don't know, open something just so you can tell me how to be amazing at it. Um, and that's a good segue to your uh, partnership with the Melbourne Chamber. So you're very similar like a chamber, you know, you, where business comes to thrive and things like that. And you are a bronze investor in the Melbourne Chamber. Yes. Um, I think I speak on behalf of them when I say thank you because those roles are very important to them. They need their stakeholders. Yes. I wonder if you could speak to the decision to come in at that level and how you use that partnership. Well, partnering with the chambers is important to us because it gives us an opportunity to really engage with and interact with our membership and the community while also serving an opportunity for us to expand our membership by you know, interacting with new prospects and potential members, both on the small business and the consumer side. Uh, SECU has partnered and sponsored events with the chamber, such as uh, Heroes Appreciation Week, yes. uh, the Impact Awards, yes. the Pro-Am Golf Tour, uh, as well as the Vieira uh, Business Regional Alliance mm, events. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, because that beautiful building that you have up there that I get to drive by almost daily. Yes, with yeah. the big screen and, and the big watchdog logo. On I the love the line. watchdog. <laughs> I love it. Um, so I wonder if you could tell us, do you have a favorite part of your job? It sounds like you have a lot, but could you narrow it down? It is a lot. It is a <laughs> lot. Um, but uh, I, I'm as a vice president, the biggest and the most important thing to me is really creating a great work environment for my team 
Uh, I oversee almost 100 people there at the credit union on our sales team. Okay. And uh, it's just it's, it's important to me to make sure that they have a work life balance, to make sure that they have opportunities for growth, to make sure that they have security and stability in the works that they that they do. Uh, and in return, what they do is a great job at serving our members and they allow us to deliver on our brand promise, honest people, trusted products and time value so that just contributing to that workforce is is very important. And I, I consider that an honor. Nice. And you say it so well. I can tell when you talk about it, like your whole face lights up. And that's important to have yes. that kind of passion in your work. Yes. And that, that skin in the game and that feeling behind it. So yes. congratulations. Are you currently hiring? You mentioned that you've got a pretty large workforce. Yes, we are. Actually, okay. We have a couple All right. Let's talk open about them. In a couple of different uh, departments. We are looking for uh, some express sales associates that okay. do our, our consumer lending mm -hmm. uh, and our consumer deposit account origination. Um, we actually just hired, I think we may have closed out some wrecks on our business side. Okay. We had a couple there because we've expanded on that side as we're doing more lending, as we, you know, start to see more businesses learning about credit unions and learning about Space Coast and our small business services. Uh, we're starting to increase the business owners that we have on that side coming in. Yes. And so that team has expanded as well, which is really, really exciting. So if somebody's watching right now and they are interested in learning more about joining your team or any other job opportunities, can you share your, I assume it's on your website? Yes, sccu.com. Okay. You can scroll down to the bottom of the page, click on careers, and there you can see all of the jobs that we have available. Mm -hmm throughout our entire footprint again from branches all the way down from Palm Coast all the way down to Homestead up and down the East Coast. Wow so you've been you've grown from these humble beginnings to where you are now in the billions with a B. Um, what's next? What's next for Space Coast Credit Union? Oh man um, that is a, a great question. <laughs> uh, I think really just continuing to deepen our, our brand throughout our footprint. When you say Space Coast Credit Union here in Bavard, everyone knows what that yeah, means. Yeah. But as you start getting further down in South Florida, Miami, Dade and Broward County, where uh, that's really the fastest growing part of our footprint right now, you say Space Coast, that doesn't have any real relevance to them. And right. so uh, really just deepening that brand to help them understand who we are, how long we've been around. And and again, what we offer as a credit union and, and the difference between what you're going to get at the bank. Well, nice. Well, hopefully some of them are watching and tuning in right now and hopefully. have heard uh, the way you talk about your clients and how important that relationship is and all the services that you know, we didn't even know. We just kind of scratched the surface when we just assume um, it's lending and maybe some financial advising. But it's a it's a package deal that yes. you're offering through your business services. It's amazing so. to hear all of the businesses that don't know, you yeah. know, still all of the things and, and even consumers that credit unions can offer with our mortgages, with our commercial lending, commercial real estate lending. You know, it's, it really is yeah. amazing. And you actually get a person on the phone that's like, right, he lives here with you Correct. if you need something. Yes. So yeah, it's incredible. Well, I just want to thank you so much for joining us. Um, this is the time in our program, Anthony, where we ask our guests, if you could just kind of recall back, if there was a little tenant or tip or some words of wisdom that were imparted on you that resonated either personally or professionally that you think our viewers would like to hear. Um, it's hard for me to really, really narrow in or focus on one thing. I would say, okay. uh, but I would share maybe two things. Of course, because uh, you're an I, overachiever. Of course right, you right, would. Right, yeah, right, go right. for it. So, I love it. Uh, two, two things. The first thing is one that I just, I, I live by every day. Uh, and that is every day is a good day. Some days are just better than others. And, oh, I, and I think that. that that always helps us keep perspective on, you know, the blessing that today is, you know, mm -hmm. sometimes it can be tough. Sometimes it can be hard, but you know, the alternative is you didn't have that day, Yeah. you know, and, and every day I think that we should count it as a blessing and take advantage of the opportunities and, and look at it just yeah. as that. Um, the other one, I, I'm not sure if I pronounced the, the gentleman's name right, but uh, I believe it's Tagore. Okay. Uh, and he's a Bengali poet uh, or philosopher, but uh, one of his sayings is, I slept and dreamt that life was joy. I awake and found that life was service. I acted and behold, service was joy. Uh, and I think for us in the credit union land, that's really how we live, where it is about a life of service, service to our members, service to our communities. And I think that that's important for us as individuals in the identity that we have, mm -hmm. you know, uh, being committed to something bigger than ourselves. And so it's exciting to me to get to work with people every day that feel that same way and get to serve our community uh, at Space Coast Credit Union. 
wow, I thought I was going to sit down and talk to a vice president of credit union. I got a whole philosopher and <laughs> business advisor and everything. This has been so eye-opening um, and so enlightening. Thank you again for joining us today. Can you tell us your website one more time? We're going to pop it up on there. No problem. SCCU.com. Very simple. Uh, <laughs> Perfect. Well, thanks for everything you're doing here on the Space Coast business community and in the private sector. We appreciate you and yes. we love sharing Brevard with you. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. You're welcome back anytime. Awesome. <laughs> so thank you again for Anthony and Space Coast Credit Union for joining us today. If you'd like to learn more about Space Coast Credit Union or any of the chamber partners, please check out their website, melbourneregionalchamber.com. As always, thank you to the beautiful Hotel Melby for this gorgeous suite this morning. Thank you to Anthony and Tightline Productions for making the 411 on the 321 possible. And as always, thank you so much to Isabella Serrano, Marketing Manager at the Melbourne Regional Chamber, our executive producer. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.